In this video, we're going to take a look at the cascading style sheets options that are available inside of SharePoint Designer. Specifically, we're going to look at the CSS properties, task pane, as well as the apply styles and the manage styles. The best way to start by doing that is to open up your site in SharePoint Designer and open up an ASPX page. As you can see, I've got the default.aspx page open here. And the first thing that we'll look at is the CSS properties task pane. Now you can see that by default over in the left hand panel area. And I've got this list view web part selected. So what it's showing me is a couple of different things. I've got the show categorize list option selected. And what it's done is categorized out all of the different CSS rules that have been applied. So we have the applied rules, and it will show you essentially the CSS inheritance tree for this particular item. As we scroll down, we can also see specific CSS properties that are available. And they are categorized out as font, block, background, border, box, position, layout, list, table. If we go and look at the alphabetized list, you'll see that it will resort those same set of CSS properties, and it will just put them in alphabetical order. So you're really allowed to take a look at things in whichever way makes the most sense to you. Now there's also a button here that's selected that will show the set properties on top. What that means is it will take whatever you've shown as your option, either showing alphabetized or showing categorized, and it will put any specific CSS properties that have been set and put them at the top of the categorization. In the case of alphabetized order, of course, it puts it at the top and lists all of the set properties as alphabetized prior to alphabetizing the unset properties. If we unset that, you'll see that it'll just mix the property into the alphabetical list. There's another button here, the summary button. And what that does is actually just show you all of the properties that affect what's currently selected instead of only the properties in the selected style. So in summary mode, you can really click on a property and outline the entire associated rule. And so you can click on the summary button and you can get a good idea of how the inheritance of the style has gone. As you can see as I hover over the color here, it shows that the property was overridden by the property sheet style. So it allows you to trace back what's affecting each of the different styles that you're dealing with. The next task pane that we can look at is the Apply Styles task pane. This has a couple of different options right at the top that are useful. It has a hot link to creating a new style, which essentially will bring you into the new style wizard. It also has the attached style sheet link, which will bring you into the wizard for that as well. And then it has the display. The display will show the style sheet that is on the page and basically allows you to see which style sheets are linked to this specific page. As you can see here, we have the core style sheet, and then we have two definitions that are on the current page. Now, as you can see, there's only one style defined in each of these. However, it does list out all of the core styles that fit the criteria and gives you an example of what they look like here. It also allows you to get a drop down on each of these items and either rename the class or modify the style or create a style that is a copy of this particular style sheet. It also has the ability to go up to select the particular instance of that style that is on the page. Along with that, there's an options button which affects which styles are actually shown. And there's also at the very top a clear styles button which will clear any class-based styles or inline styles from whatever you have selected. Now we can take a look at the manage styles task pane. The manage styles task pane does allow you to do a couple of things. Um, you can go and actually 
reorder the style sheet directly with drag and drop. And that allows you to put commonly used styles ahead of styles that are used less often. You can basically use the Manage Styles task pane here as a drag and drop between the different style sheets to copy things around and move them. The Manage Styles task pane also allows you to directly link into the CSS file itself by just double-clicking on the item itself, which will bring you into the code view for that CSS file.